Howdy, everyone. We're Hi. live. Hello. Good evening. Another night of D and D. Good evening. Right. So I last last time was pretty exciting. Uh-huh. <laughs> what I miss? Uh, let's see. You a lot of killing. You yeah, took out a room and then like you everybody. Were, yeah. And then the next room over decided to come see what was going on, and then it, it was perpetual. Mm-hmm. What happened is we sent Ed in to negotiate, and he stabbed the guy while he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> and said, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm around the corner. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. Think it was risky. <laughs> I love it. We know Ed's not a backstabber. He goes right for the jugular. <laughs> right to your face. <laughs> he doesn't sugarcoat it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, where are we? So you're checking, you've checked out this room um, where the bugbears were sleeping. You can see their cots and you know, little odds and ends, but there's nothing else of interest in this area. This is where we found all that gold where we can go back to town and buy mithril armor, right? Right. Some gold. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, One hundred and sixty-four. You are uh, you are too too uh, consistent with your shows. If this was the other show, you know, you might get away with it because you don't play but once every <laughs> month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey Muppet, Benji. Hey Muppet. I'm Benji just noticing there. everybody has their camera on today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's because I have a permanent green screen now. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is mine not on? Am I black again? No, you're good. Oh, you're fair. Oh. Ah, so let's see. If you look down this hallway, Sparrow, you'll remember that that door that's down the hallway, which nobody else can see. Let me see if I can move the camera around. Um, where is I at? I'm lost. But there is a door. Behind that door is the big, super gigantic cube. Hmm. Well, what do I go that way? That you ran out of. Yeah. That's the one that Scotty found, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think you opened the door, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's got a skull in it, but you do know that you can go around the corner, past the next door, and then kind of bypass that room completely and head towards the area you haven't explored yet. In order to get there, you would have to go through that um, uh, goblin marketplace. Oh, yep. I think it's so strange that we missed that door in the goblin marketplace. I don't know. I guess where we were too afraid to fight. You just kept leapfrogging (laughs) over areas, and I'm like, I'm not ready for that one yet. (laughs) I'll I'll move Ed. Move you, Ed? Sure. I was just moving my angle on the screen so I could see it because I have it too blown up. <laughs> this this little area here. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Let me double check. Oh, there's a train in the dungeon. <laughs> actually, you can go either way. You can go down and do, uh, wow, it's really close too. It's a mining <laughs> cart. Yeah, down, in, down into the west, and then you'll be able to uh, get to that intersection that you uh, remember. Wait, I'm confused so like already. Here? Where are we? Where are you talking? Uh, so if you go uh, down this way, here, okay. yeah, through this little tunnel here, then should I do a check to see? Have we been yeah. through this? Yes, you've been yeah. here before. Oh. <laughs> so there's a, a strange feature because I've got two different 
screens open with the same account. If I if I keep your history, then when I try to move the scroll bar, I think the dungeon moves, but the blackout area doesn't. So a lot of spoilers. <laughs> I found it. <That's> <laughs> Me, Nico, and Melissa. We're there. up here if you're uh, looking for the rest of the party. Okay. Or you can go through the top. There's two, two routes. Is somebody moving my thing? Hmm? I was asking if somebody's moving my thing. Moving who? <laughs> moving my icon. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Because I swear I was right here, and then it got moved over there. Uh, could be somebody had access Oh, my to God. It. I think it was me. I've been moving the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, am I losing my mind here? <laughs> now, well, now need... <laughs> yeah, we always knew, knew he was a necromancer as well. <laughs> Stop. Uh, so this uh, this is the uh, intersection here with uh, the, the dwarves carved in to the uh, wall. It's just decorative. And then if you keep going straight, you'll get to the bazaar. Okay. Oh, there we are. Our little goblin friends. Yep. Oh, I, I got lost. Oh, <clears throat> and if you take the first left, left, yep, you'll start getting into areas that look a little familiar, but you're close to new territory. Whoa, where am I? And then you would take um, left where Sparrow is. So this is new territory. So if you, oops, is this how um, we entered the bazaar? Uh, so that's how. Well, you might have gone up the top side, but if you go straight north, those are the stairs going up. But if you go south, that's where you have not been yet. Okay. I'm gonna do a perception check. I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> Who would yell at you, Scotty? Us? <laughs> Did it work? There Did he do a perception mind. check at the stairs or down at the bottom? Um, so there's a interesting room here. That the like center. interesting. The center, there's nothing, there's nothing really here except it looks like one of those water pumps you would see at an old farm drawing water from a well. Mm -hmm. All uh, rusty. Yeah, a little hand, you know, you, whoops, you just kind of yep. pump it. And then there's a big stone basin underneath it. Is Can I try to pump water? You try. I was going to say, are we good with water supply? Maybe something else comes out, like gold. Or beer. Or oil. Or beer. <laughs> or beer. So what would I need to do to pump it? Should, should I do a perception okay. to make sure it's not a trap? Or an <laughs> investigation? Or, yeah. I'm going to do that before she starts pumping <laughs> on it. I feel like yeah. I reached out for it, and Nico just kind of grabs my hand and is like, just wait a second. Don't, don't touch that. <laughs> Just a pump the lever and all of a sudden uh, the floor gives out. Uh, that was insight, but I think the roll would have, I mean, if you rolled oh, the sorry. investigation, it would have been the right, more than enough. Like, you, don't, you don't sense One anything. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. What did I do? My glass uh, is terrible. So, well, if you're pumping, roll a D4. 
D4. Ooh. One D4. Right. Since you're the one who's pumping it. A one. So <laughs> you pump it enough that two, about two gallons of water fills the basin. Hmm. Wow. Not bad. Is there anything like, is it clear water? It, it looks, looks nice water? It looks good. I mean, if you smell it, it doesn't smell like anything but water. Hmm. Is there anything already in the basin? Well, it's actually pretty clean. How clean? Was it clean like um, a cube just walked through? Uh, not <laughs> that clean. You you probably see like a cat here. <laughs> cat here. Uh, what do you call it? Like the the. The mineral residue, you know, you get calcium kind of thing from time to time. Calcium deposit. Um, but I mean, I can test the water. I have a, yeah. I have a, a test a chemistry set. <laughs> you have your API kit with you. Wow. <laughs> I got my I got my drop checkers. We're good. <laughs> All right, you want to check it? Yeah. What would I roll? Uh, let's see. I would use an intelligence check. Intelligence. Where is intelligence? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. So, speaking in terms you might be familiar with, um, you probably want to keep discus in this water and not shell dwellers. <laughs> but Very it is salt, not hard water. Got it. <laughs> but it is drinkable. Got I it. like that we all understood that. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did the say audience can't go any further if they didn't understand it. And we all understand fish language, so. Yeah. So, yes, with your test kit. All right. Do we have a. Uh, water skins that need to be refilled can we top off our reserves for what we've got you can do that yeah might as well top them yeah. off good idea we only got Basically, two gallons of water to spare yeah and if you and if you want more water you figure you could probably pump it and more will come out in fact um if you're doing that a goblin will come over Kind of stand behind you, in the water stand, <laughs> waiting for you to finish. Yeah, I'll move out of his way so he can get some. <laughs> so is there and anything on the walls of this room, or no? It's just a. It looks like it's just a, an area where you can pump water. Oh, okay. Hmm. Cool. So south or left? So you could, yeah, you could either go Ooh. west or south, and those are new to you. <laughs> Let's go west. Uh, we're, well, we're in the room already, kind of, so might as well go south. Hmm? Oh. And then when if we come back, we can go west. Okay. Do they, huh? Wait, you know what? Why don't we just ask the goblin what's down south? Yeah. Or they they do. Do. <laughs> Is it safe to go down there? <laughs> he laughs and like, yeah, go have fun. <laughs> go down there. I completely trust him. <laughs> sure you do. You see the door to the east. Okay, I rolled a, a 25 perception. Wow. Nice. You said there's a door to our east. A door to the east and then a passageway. He wants to crack it open to see what's in. Did anything I come from I'm... edge check? Yeah, but, um, not really. Let me, let me double check real quick. Uh, and 
I think uh, with that perception check, you kind of hear some clattering occasionally over uh, to the west. And it kind of reminds you of being in the kitchen when you were a kid. Ooh, food. Ooh. Do I smell anything in the air when I inhale? No, just uh, kind of just reminded you of like, you know, hearing someone in the kitchen preparing, starting to prepare a meal maybe. That's just a, okay, well, what it feels like to you. My stomach you guys, That's to the west, no, not, not to the east. I haven't had supper yet. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go and check out the the noise or just open this door? Let's open it. Let's open, open it. it. Okay. Open it. I'm opening They're the door. And... They're not going to be grumpy. Okay. Yeah, maybe they'll be done by the time. I open the and door. Should, can I step in? Uh, hold on. Let me uh, open the... Uh, let me... Sorry, I got to go use the uh, app real quick to do this. I will open the door, and it hits you like a ton of bricks. Um, just the smell of rotting flesh. Oh. The smell of ozone. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> you see a lot of tables in the room that remind you of school. Well, I guess you guys may not have gone to school, but if, if you did, you know, it looks like <laughs> um, Sparrow doesn't have a good smell. Or where did Ed go? Every, there's a, there's every, a lot of I, I, I stepped back out of the room. <laughs> but, you it. know, everybody said that Sparrow smelled bad when she was growing <laughs> up, so she probably can't smell anything. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Nico, it's not that I smell bad, I can't smell. <laughs> I thought there's a difference. Where did Whip go? Oh, he walked right away. He, he's right here. Okay. I can hear you the whole time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, so got, me, got me worried there for a second, man. Come on. Oh, so is so it the room we're standing in smells like rotted flesh? Yeah, the one that you and Nico were in smells of rotting flesh and ozone. There's all of these strange metal instruments on the tabletops and lots of scraps of parchment. Scattered on on the, around the tables and the, around the instruments, hmm. like a torture. No, we need you to situation? come in here and read this. Is that is it like a torture chamber situation? Uh, it looks like a mad scientist laboratory. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna investigate yeah, the room. Right. Oh, yeah. right there. Okay. Well, if you if, if you sift through the papers. Some of them have little odd notes on it that says rate of decay or accumulation of charge. And you find something that looks like a, um, a larger scrap of paper that looks like it had been torn out of a log book. And on it, it says, day one, Alistair has granted me this abandoned copper mine in the arcane chambers. Finally, I have access to the components needed for my experiments. Mm. And then it's smudged and smeared, and you can't tell what else is there. Um, but Halister is the name of the wizard known as the Mad Mage that built this dungeon. Mm -hmm. sure. I would like to take some of these papers for further study. I think we should go the other direction. <laughs> oh no, we got to keep going. We, have to out what's yeah, we, we should see what's around that corner. Yeah, what's one more corner, Scotty? I haven't even had. I'm going to do an, a uh, perception before I go in there. Uh, well, Mel sees twelve <laughs> barrels in the room that he just walked into. But um, yeah, you don't you don't sense anything. Do these tools look like they've been they're made from fine silver or you know like a high quality metal or 
some of them might be. Oh, you see a, a good amount of copper in places, kind of strips of, of different types of metal connecting the instruments. Um, but it's not something that you would have been that looks familiar to you. But in the room that you're walking into, there's 12 wooden barrels against the walls. <clears throat> Mouse will go up and check out one of the barrels. Okay. Um, roll a D12. D12. Ooh. I will not go to one of the barrels. <laughs> Never know. The smell might be coming from them. Ten. And they're piled with dust. You said, what was that you said? Ten. Ten. Interesting. Uh, let me check something real quick. That would be... So you lift the lid. You see something strange, kind of green, a little bit mottled, kind of grayish. You recognize hair. And then it turns up and looks at you with its undead eyes. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. That scared me. And out of these barrels. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the? A whole bunch of gold. Way to go, Malice. It wasn't me. I was on the one just um, <laughs> <laughs> Play Malice. <laughs> Gotta be him. Must be him. I appreciate it. <laughs> I was going to check one out after Melis. <laughs> well, like I guess. I figured I could take oh one for the team this time. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm been through nothing old. gained. Terrible. Terrible. My rolling yeah. is either super high or super low. My roll is always low. Well, you have like a really high plus on initiative, don't you? Yeah, but I rolled a natural 20 again. Oh. It's like <laughs> I've never rolled so many 20s in the last couple of weeks, but I've also rolled more ones than I've ever rolled. Last <laughs> night, it was the same thing. I rolled like two 20s and four ones. Jeez. <laughs> so weird. There are six oh. of these guys. Does one of them look like Halif? Is our friend <laughs> back? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. And you are pretty sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a look in a few minutes, but I think you may have met all of the fine fellows of Daggerfin. Yeah. <laughs> so there was the priestess of Shar. Um, I think who else you bumped into? Um. There was the dwarf that was chained up. Yep. The hell is that? His name was Rex the Hammer. Yep. Oh, cool. Oh, no, wait, no, that's not Rex the Hammer. That was Copper Stormforge, sorry. Mm. In the tower, that was the human priest. Um, was that the one that was in the closet? Um, I think so. Let me see. I think that was the first one he ate. Yeah, you're pretty sure you found all of them. Yeah, I miss Hal. <laughs> me too. <laughs> he was the nicest zombie I ever met. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I think everybody's in there. Let me double check. Uh, this zombie's like got a messed up face. Oh, yeah, something happened with resizing. <laughs> oh, it's a token and a token. Somehow that happened. There's a token on top of his head. He had a baby zombie. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, if I uh, move him. Hmm. Okay, 
And it is Nico's turn. Creepy. Okay. I am going to make a shift. Oops. Whoa, what happened here? Okay. I'm going to make a shift to this spot. Okay. And stab the one that's next to Sparrow. And first with the rapier. Whoa. Um, just misses. Nope. Okay. That would have been a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. And now with my dagger. A one. See, I've been either rolling ones or twenties. It's so <laughs> weird. So yeah. There it is. Okay. Uh, not quite there. It's the smell bothering me. That's what I oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, blame the smell. So one of these guys will run around here. Sinedra. Let's see. It will be with a claw. Kind of comes around the corner and swipes with its claw. It's so like when you move the big one, the little baby one stayed, and that's the one that highlights on initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? This is like a little baby token. <laughs> Let me double check. It's okay. You still play it. I just thought it was cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move him in the wall. There's only supposed to be six. <laughs> Actually, I'll exchange them. I didn't replace my mouse, so I'm doing double clicks. <laughs> Resizing and everything else. So let's try this again. Oh, there it is. 20 to hit. It's not a natural 20, it's just a 20. Uh, okay. if, that, if that hits at seven damage. Who's he, he attacking? Oh, Kalish. Okay. Don't let him bite you, Cindera. <laughs> Bob and weed. <laughs> okay. So did that hit? So, sorry, what was the roll? Oh, it was a 20. <laughs> oh, yeah, it hits. Okay. And, okay, so yeah, I took the seven. <laughs> okay, and then make a constitution saving throw. Oh, wait. Did I roll that? Did I really just? Oh, there you go. Whoa. No. Wow. There's the 20 that you needed, Ed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So that's its turn. Actually, are you are you an elf? Uh, Tiefly. Okay. Just making sure there's different rules for different folks. I don't know if it matters, but when it becomes my turn, I can answer that as I am a half elf. Ah. I'm a real life elf. <laughs> <laughs> Just a dark one. Ah, 16 to hit Sparrow. Uh, 17 armor class. Ah, nice. Bob and Lee. Nice. Uh, now it's Sinedra's turn. Oops. Okay, so I am going to say, you say it was my turn? Yes, it's, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to use Scorching Ray, okay. and I am also going to, oh, wait. 
Here we go. What is it? It's the um, twin spell. So I'm going to also use a couple sorcery points to um, twin the spell. And that's three rays, and I'm going to cast the first um, three at the the three directly in front of me. Okay. So however that works out. So one each. So it's scorching yeah. ray does three rays that I can cast at whoever I want, and then the twin will cast it a second time. So that's three, one for each of them, at okay. whatever that does. Okay, that's the first one. So that one. First one took a lot of damage. So, okay, so here, let me, um, it'll work better this way. So the, the one the one spell cast three, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do the second roll, though I, we can cause that, call that, or second, the twin spell. So that one spell for those three rays of fire that do two D6 each, and I can cast them however I want. So I did one, two, three, at the okay. three in front of me. So they each take, they should each take that. I'm just doing a separate roll for each of the race. Okay. So you want me to roll it six times then? Uh, oh, you're doing it twice. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to double it. I'm going to okay. use the twin spell and double it. So roll it six times? Uh, yeah. Okay. So then you got your first two. The first two, one hit, one miss. One to the second target. That's a hit. Hit. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And then the third one. Oh, click on the damage. Oh, oh, sorry. That, that's okay. Uh, six, okay, and then damage for the. Okay. Did I click the damage? Yeah. And then one okay. more roll. One more and then two. one more roll. No, one more. Roll. We've done the two on the first, two on the second. Yep. And then we need two on the third, right? Um, I think I've got the. Or what? How many? How many have I done? There's one, one two, 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 three, so third, four. Third. So you, the first five. one. You, so you just need one more roll for the third one. One more roll. Okay. Oh, and that one. That one misses. That one misses, but yeah, most of the others hit. The first two are really hurt. The second one is a little singed. Okay. And that's my turn. Nice. That's an awesome turn. <laughs> <laughs> this next guy. Actually, before I end, I think if I can, can I move back a couple of steps? Oh, sure, yes. Okay. Now I'm done. And this one's coming at Nico. Oh, bring it on. Hmm. Seven to hit, Mrs. Ha. Ha. <laughs> I'm a wiggle. Sparrow's uh, <laughs> turn. Okay. Um, I am going to cast Spider Climb and touch my brother on the shoulder. You have the ability to use Spider Climb for one hour. Oh, man. And then he I loves am that. going to turn into a wolf. Okay. Because nice. why not? Mm -hmm. And cool. I think, does Wild Shape, that's my action, right? Or yeah, actually, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Spider climate action? I think it's a bonus action. Hang on one second. Let me double check. Oh, no, spider climbs action. Okay, so I won't turn into a wolf. Okay. I will Whoa. take and cast Shillelagh. It's a bonus action, so I'll touch my staff, okay. and I'll be ready for next round to whack them. Okay. If Kayla leaves me any. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, next one will oops, that quick. come around the corner and 
and he'll bite at Sparrow. Four misses. Yeah. And the next one is right in front of Nico. Law attack. Ooh, 24. Oh, that's a natural 20. Ooh, no. So 13 damage. Okay. And I know you're an elf, so you don't need to do a constitution saving throw. Yay for oh, elven blood. blood. <laughs> that 15 or 13? Uh, 13. Uh, book, it's your turn. It is my turn. I am going to move. Where's my guy? I am going to move here. <laughs> and if I'm reading this right, we'll get an op attack on you if you do. I should. How's that? The guy in front of you would, would get an op attack. Opportunity. There's nobody in front of me. Did somebody move? Were. No. He's right here. Okay. Because he was diagonal from you. Okay. Yeah. So you let had to walk past him and then walk past that guy too. Let him let him take a swipe. I don't care. I'm moving. <laughs> 23 and a 23. Uh, what does that mean? I'm an armor class 17. So uh, if it's. Yeah. 19 points of damage. Jeez. That's, that's, a little, that's a little ridiculous. I would like to form a, a formal complaint, please. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cast a... Uh... Third level spirit guardians. Ah. Well, if you cast that first... Cast it first instead. It just follows you when you walk around like an aura. So, right. You don't right. have to move then cast. You can cast. It only affects the people that are against you. It's not going right. to affect your yeah. I was just trying to not engage anybody directly. I didn't realize that guy was going to have an opportunity. But um, from where I'm at in the corner there, I can get all of these. Everybody's in within range. But knowing the spell, you can cast it before you move. Okay. And then you won't have the appetites. Then I won't More, what? Than, likely. More than likely, you won't have the appetites. He's okay. saying one would die. Or two, or three. <laughs> okay, I, that's fine. I can. I am. I am with you. Yeah. <laughs> so until you get used to the spell. Um. Do I need to do? Do I actually? I have to actually like cast it though, right? Yeah, you cast it, then move, but then you can roll the damage now, and it impacts everyone to your next turn, and then you roll your damage again if anyone comes in range. So every okay. turn you do a different damage roll. It's crap, but uh, oh. eight. I mean, I literally rolled two zeros and an eight, basically. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, I think you're cool still. Oh, uh, yeah. no, you don't. Somebody did. Well. <laughs> you always get <laughs> well. Is this the one that looks like little arowanas flying around? Yeah, yeah. I think. I yeah, like that's the that one. Cool. So you, the two that would have gotten op attacks die before you start moving. Nice. Oh, so I could put my, my 19 back? Yeah, you can put your 19 back. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for helping out a pool. Such a generous <laughs> team. <laughs> but next time, next time <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Next time you die. Um, and then as a bonus action, I think all I can do is fire off that spiritual weapon. But I, I don't. There's not enough left, so I'm not going to do that. Right. 
Okay. Well, yep. Mellis is going to attack. He's going to move up and attack with the battle axe. Okay. Oh, that's a natural 20. Wow. And Which that's one? on the guy, guy right, right in front of me. Okay. That dude. Did it pull it through? There we go. I'm going to pull my hood up and over my head so I prevent zombie guts from being splattered all over me. Yeah. <laughs> you can only do that next time. That was bad. <laughs> it's good you're not a wolf because okay. you get all over your fur. <laughs> so, Chris, how do I read that? Is that 28? Um, I think it's 16, but he's down. <laughs> well, 16, but then it should have been oh, a double because it's a yeah. crit. Yeah. But oh, wait, matter. you're doing two-handed, no. right? Uh, one-handed. One-handed, okay. Uh, and if he's down, then I'm going to shift to the other guy right there and hit okay. him with the battle axe. 25 to hit for... So 15. Uh, he's... What, the missed 15 <laughs> points? 15 oh, points. He's... He's uh, barely standing, but he's up. Okay, then I'm also going to hit him with a um, Searing Smite. Okay, no need to roll. Or Divine Smite. It's another seven points. Siri said, you, I find no need to roll in here. <laughs> what is the vibe? Is that like a, a melee attack or is it? It's something you pump into your attack, like divine oh. energy. Kind of yeah, like it, it, cost a, it, cost, it costs a spell slot, but. Oh, crap. I should mic that down or I'll forget. Um, I'm actually going to, so I moved 5, 10 feet. I'm going to move another 15 feet just back behind these guys. Okay. Right there. And then I'm done. All right. Uh, Eleanor. Get on. Yes, sir. You want, I'll you got two more left. Okay, so where are they? Oh, two more left. Okay. Yep. They're kind of in the middle of that group. So I'm just going to step up a bit and then I'm going to use my Eldric, Eldritch Blast at the guy right hey. in front of me. Nice. Uh, it's <laughs> force damage, huh? And then the second one. Uh, hang on. Lost my cat. There we go. Second one. Not as good. Huh? That Barely hits. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a whole lot of damage. Wow, that's really good. All right, so he's down. <laughs> I'm not even a better freaking attack. <laughs> Poor guy last week, he didn't get any attacks either. She was always behind. <laughs> yeah. So that's because he didn't jump in. <laughs> You yeah. still got one. You still got one, Scotty. You can either go to the right or the left of Nico and get that last guy if you want. All right. I'm going to go to the left of Nico right here, right? Sure. And we are going to do a long sword of life stealing. <laughs> How does that work? I want to steal their life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You get a bad taste in your mouth when it works. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Wow. Nice. Um, 
your eyes might get a little cloudy. Wow. <laughs> Skin turn a little greenish gray. He's still up. I need get one more attack. A can I do craving for blood? I can do one more, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish him yeah. off. Finish him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Great, we are out. Yeah. See what happens when you let me attack. <laughs> <laughs> You suck a zombie when you do. <laughs> suck the undead life from a zombie. <laughs> so, these uh, zombies had jumped out of barrels. So there were 12 barrels. Six of them Let's had open the rest up. Don't open any more barrels. You know, in my head, they all jumped from one barrel, like, you know, clown <laughs> car and so <laughs> in my head. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but what if the rest of them have treasures in them? Yeah. yeah. I Do think it. we need to look. Maybe before opening them, knock them and see if you hear anything. <laughs> like Hello? like, like uh, testing out a, 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 to see if a melon is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it knocks back, you know, not to open it. <laughs> That's how I pick out my melons too. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> if you do, what is the? Uh, I don't remember what this song is, but if you go, dun, dun. Up, yeah, if it if it's it the knock back thing, you know, uh, it's it's in terms of the actual tune is bum bum ba dum bum ba dum. That's it. But there's it's called something I can't remember what it's called. Shaving a haircut. Yeah, shaving a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Shave haircut. Two hits. Two hits. I didn't so, know it was I'm gonna go ahead and open a barrel that a zombie didn't pop out of. Uh roll a one D six. Okay. One D six. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. Beans. Five. So you see chunks of copper that are about the size of your fist. Ooh. Okay. Can I take one? Well, it's full of copper. Yeah, you can take one. Um, How many? Wow. The dwarves will instantly, like, that would be 50 gold pieces a barrel. Yeah. Usama, you need to get the numbers from last week. I'll take one, though. I mean, put yeah. it in my bag. that's kind of neat. So copper ore? Yep, so that's one of the barrels. Okay. Can I take a block of copper? Sure. Yeah, let's look at the rest of the barrels. Yeah. If you, if you open the rest of them, three are filled with copper and three are empty. And no more goblins or whatever they are? Zombies. So... The undead. <laughs> Wait, how, many, how much copper did you all take? So I will put it in here, and it'll fit in the bag of holding. Let's just say it, it, it's your place to go. Three, three barrels. I would probably not put fish in the barrels after they've been <laughs> <laughs> <Not for real. laughs> Definitely not shrimp. <laughs> yeah. yeah, See, I was we can say for fish related for the uh, log logarithms. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of <laughs> algorithms. <laughs> algorithms. Algorithm. Yeah, guys, just talk D and D, so we go into the D and D algorithm. So, are we gonna open this door? Uh, so before you go any further, okay. As you started approaching that door, I and, did, and you are almost ready to touch. Oh, I forgot to say, there's a hammock at the north end, hanging from the wall. Hmm. I take a nap. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's a hammock up there. But this door is coated in copper. Oh, it's, it's copper. Mm -hmm. Is it etched with anything or is it just like solid copper no, slab? But you feel the soft hum and it gets a little louder the closer you get to the door. 
You might not want to touch that. Is the hum like mechanic in nature, like machinery? Um, so Eleanor wouldn't know that, but you would. It, it does sound like there's like some sort of machinery. It's kind of like you know going to a generator room, maybe. You know, in the building where you know you just hear the the hum, or the water pumps are back there. Mm -hmm. Someone has made hand. Yeah, thank you. Um, I was just gonna go there too. One but, of my there, oh. but there is a hammock on the north door or on the north wall, just hanging there. It's got some blankets on it. Can I take it down? Sure. Where are we at? Can I? Can I, I, I I've lost track of where. Are we still in the main room where we just killed all those things? Yeah. Okay. But but in front of you is that copper door with the humming. Right where I just moved, right, correct? Yep. yep. Okay. And then and then if you pull the hammock down, um, among the blankets that fall to the ground is a, another page. Another Looks what? Like another page from the logbook. Oh, I'll pick it up and give it to uh, Quinn. It's nice Ocean having a smart guy in the group. Is that right? Is that your name, Quinn Ocean Kind? No, no, that's the, that's the other campaign. Wow, yeah. sorry. <laughs> What's your name in this here, campaign? Here I am. <laughs> Eleanor Altamar. So okay, I'm give it to Altamar. The piece of paper says, day three, I no longer trust the other apprentices. <laughs> what they see as mysticism I know to be science. I can't stand their incantations and their mutterings any longer. Any of them try to intrude on my laboratory again, they're in for a truly shocking surprise. Oh, shocking. I knew it. <laughs> uh, let's take the goat and push it against the door. <gasps> no. What is a goat? Why is the Ed always trying to hurt the goat? <laughs> well, okay, you touch it, Clara. <laughs> Send a snake to it. Little goat no. snake. Is there is there no mage hand in this group? Oh Somebody's yeah, I have, have a mage hand. I have a mage <laughs> hand. <laughs> the one who wants to I'll sacrifice uh, the goat. <laughs> well, then we could have barbecue goat. No. But okay, I'll use my mage hand to see if I can open the door. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So, do I, I mean, need to do sleight of hand? No, no, you're fine. I, I, I'll just open the door. Because <laughs> that's what you want to do. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -oh. I don't like the oh, way that no. was worded. <laughs> I see what we want to do. So, um, get here. let's go introduce ourselves. There is, oh, let me. Let me see what we do. So you see in the center of the room uh, a flesh golem. You've seen one of those before. Um, and then there is floating up just you know at the edge of the your, your visibility a lightning. Well, it's a skull. It looks like a flaming skull, but it's, it's bluish. It looks like it's coated in metal. Mm. It's a conductor. Okay, and well, it makes little crackling noises as it floats around. Um, I'm gonna say, "Hey, Sherlock," and walk in. Well, hold on before you walk yeah, in. Right. <laughs> oh boy! The floor <laughs> is covered in copper tiles. Oh, good lord! Uh, Every let's tile let's is copper. Let, let's have the goat walk in first. No. <laughs> <laughs> I quick, so I quickly weird. put my arm in front and be like, "Do not take a step in." Man, I want to though. Yeah, can we? Can we? <laughs> can we step? Can really we step back? Oh, oh! You have spider climb. You have spider climb. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I but wait, is, it, is it only the? Is it only the floor that's copper? Just the floor. Just the floor. Okay, go ahead and climb. Okay, I'm going to climb up to the ceiling. 
And then, uh, so I'm not on the ground. I'm hanging from the ceiling. Oh, gosh. I think this is still going to hurt. Oh, well, then don't do it. <laughs> okay. So let me. Uh, and and now I'll say, hey, Sherlock. My, so we, my concern is, is that that skull is just going to, like, hone in on Ed and just zap him. You know, like yeah, I wonder if we can fall back and draw them out into this other room. Rather than charging in. If you do what? Pull back and draw them into this room that we're in. Okay. So send Ed in as or Nico in as bait to draw them back in. Exactly. <laughs> yep. yep. Since he's already volunteered. Sacrificial goat. <laughs> they're, both, they're both looking at Ed and not doing anything. Yeah. Oh. Huh. They maybe, maybe they need a little incentive, like a bolt to the eyeball. Hey, what's shaking? Do they respond? Can I, I can I drop my piece of copper on the floor to see if there's a spark or anything that I just picked up? Yeah, smart. So you're you're standing in the room on the copper. Nothing happens, but you're standing on the copper, right? No, he's no, on I'm the ceiling. ceiling. On the ceiling. Oh, you're on the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, it just falls harmlessly. But since you're in the room, uh, why don't we all roll initiative? But right now, <laughs> sure. let me make sure I'm Chris would say the door slams shut. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Nico has made <laughs> That's right, Melis. I think I rolled my room. lowest initiative ever <laughs> oh, in, the, in the room by myself. <laughs> well, I got your beat, Ed, so. <laughs> I rolled a 12. Uh, Wait, who else rolled a 12? Well, Nico. my total came up to about 12. Because I have a plus nine initiative. Yeah. I need a new mouse. Mm. I feel you. Uh-huh. I could put my head down and go to sleep right now. <laughs> oh wait, I did that already. <laughs> uh. Should be good to go now. <laughs> okay. Oh, so good. The skull gets to go first. Skull gets to go first. Oh, shit. I rolled a, I rolled a natural 20. Yeah. Let me see. Um, you notice, Ed, when you look at the skull, <clears throat> it's, it's coated in metal. Um, when we look at what's coded in the skull, the skull, the culprit, and so it has an interesting feature. So it makes um, fires a array of lightning into the floor, hmm. <laughs> and that copper bit you drop kind of pops a little bit. Mm, I'm not going in. And then <laughs> it fires at you. I knew it. What a so jerk. It's the <laughs> 18. I, I keep double clicking by accident, but it's the 18 to hit. It hits. Okay. What's he firing at us? Like a bolt of lightning? Lightning bolts. It's got a lightning ray. Okay. One went into the floor and one went at Nico. And uh, I got to do something interesting for the damage. Let's try. So a nine. Nine damage. If it hits. <clears throat> Yowchie. But 
I would say that you see that little copper block you drop just kind of shimmer and shake, kind of like something on a hot pan. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not stopping. It's, it's still going. Um, so okay. it's now book's turn. All right, guys. My my novice is going to show here. It, if he can fire electricity like a lightning bolt, would a guiding bolt do any damage, do you think? It's Anybody? radiant. Guiding bolt is radiant energy. It's a different type of energy. Okay. <laughs> that, I'm going to fire uh, a third level spell with that. Okay. At, at which one? At the skull. Okay. Since the other dude doesn't seem to be overly interested <laughs> he is looking right at ed and that hits wow it does look like it took all the damage nice excellent and then I am going to drop my spiritual weapon. Okay. I guess maybe right here. Oh, sorry, which where again? I'm sorry. I, I already left this one right here. Okay. Drop it down there. Okay. And that's going to be a second level. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you can upcast it, but it does all, all 10. It, it does. It's Well, it's in my third level and oh. it's in my second level. Okay. So I just clicked on the second level so I don't burn yep. up all of my third levels. Right. So that took its damage. It does. It is starting to look a little bothered by all this i cannot be bothered with this bothered. That's what I was <laughs> we just made it mad <laughs> <laughs> have you lost your mind <laughs> um that's all i can do i will if i have any i should have movement left right so if i moved up here to the door to do that and then move yep. back to give somebody else the opportunity to stick their head in. Yep. Okay, and now it's uh, Sanedra's turn. Okay, I am going to cast Chaos Bolts at level two at the uh, the guy in the center. <laughs> Flesh Golem? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, natural one. That's a mess. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> and I guess then I will just sit here and pout because it did nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the end of my turn. Okay. Sparrow. So you said we've fought one of these fillers before, right? I think you ran away. So we, we definitely ran away. Since you have magic, I, I think I misread the stats before, but um only yeah, since you mostly have not you mostly have magical weapons, they should work. Um Okay. But I think I looked it up after the fact, which because I didn't think we were going to go back and fight him. And they have a ridiculous amount of hit points. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume we're fighting him to the end, right? We can okay. do it. Okay. So I'm going to use my... Um, circlet of blasting that I got like ages ago. Okay. 
And I'm going to cast Scorching Ray so that it spins the one charge. Okay. Ugh. Which target? So that didn't do it. <laughs> Towards that guy. That's a bummer. Oh, well. That's two eights um, in a row. I know. And oh, I don't know what to do for a bonus action. Um, I guess I'll put Hunter's Mark on him for bonus action. Which one? At, uh, I guess I'll do it at second level. Well, you can. I don't think you can upcast that. Yeah, I can upcast it to oh. to second. So I'll do that. Which one? And that'll end my turn. Oh, which which target? Uh, oh, the big dude. Okay. So I don't know why I rolled it. I guess just to click it off on my uh, thing. So that'll next time I you'll hit, just roll next time. Yeah, it does the additional damage. So does yours automatically count them when you when you click on? Yeah. yeah, if you if you hit cast on them, they take the they add the little red dot in D and D beyond. Well, I'm either doing it wrong or mine doesn't do that. Can you just click them and do it too? Because <laughs> I haven't done it that way. Oh, you can! Hey, well, I'll stop doing that instead of casting everything. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, so at higher levels, yeah. Okay, and that does it for my turn. Very anticlimactic. And I'll move back mm -hmm. so that people can have the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, the flesh golem's turn. He's got a pretty good movement speed. So how high up are you? Uh, Nico? How high is the ceiling? Did you tell us? I'm on the ceiling. You're on the ceiling. All right, so he's he is angry because <laughs> he he's gonna come over here and he's gonna be looking like a dog that looking at a cat in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> so you're about twenty feet up. He'll be called oh, wow. the fire department next. How, how tall are they? I didn't right. look at stats like that. Yeah, he's he's not tall enough to even jump that high. So at least that's that's what I'm thinking. Eleanor. Uh, okay. Where's the person I'm trying to kill? Uh so there you can hit either one, but there's the floating skull up north of the um Old line, which is a magic spiritual weapon. And then there's a flesh golem with tons of hit points right under Nico. So, because that flesh golem is pretty um, fleshy, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm going to completely ignore it. Because my interest is in that skull, so I'm gonna try and fire at that skull, and I'm gonna use the ooh, Eldritch Blast. Why not? Let's see what I, have. I love that spell. It was awesome. It's Working a cantrip it too, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. It's a <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that hits. Sweet. Now you have to, you know, there you go. Okay. And let me do it again. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Excellent. Car is on a roll, people. Watch out. <laughs> wow. And it, um, interestingly enough, Falls to the ground. Wow. Nice. And, and I blow wow. on my head. Thank you. <laughs> You're the man. Carry I've been on. like freaking out. Huzzah. Is the <laughs> copper nice piece jump. still look like it's sparking? Um, it is still sparking. Oh. <laughs> um, 
and it's you know when the skull hits it's it's kind of shaking you know kind of like on a hot skittle too um let's see so that skull is not charging the floor then interesting what's that i said well, that may have but charging well, that maybe floor. there's just lingering effects though or something yeah he fired a blast into the floor and then it stayed electrified oh throughout okay. the combat so far so you can still see that that copper chunk under Nico just kind of rattling around a little bit. Um, but is that your turn? Uh, am I still able to? No, oh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Nico. Okay, I'm too high up to hit him. I guess I could shoot, but I'm not. I'm going to. Move past him like this. Okay. And I'm going to pour a flask of oil on him from above. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to remove it from my inventory. Okie doke. Okay. We got Ross Baltimore in the chat. Hey, Ross. Oh, hi, What's Ross. What's going on, buddy? Maryland Renaissance Festival. I miss that. I used to go to that. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm talking about the well, Pirate Festival. I, I used to live in Laurel, Maryland, and I went to school at University of Maryland. So. Hi, Ross. And Daniel Velez, I'll just call everyone that I can see in chat so far. <laughs> I'm Legacy LLC. I'm usually focused on the game, so I'm sorry if anyone. Oh, Melvin's here too. Said anything? I didn't say anything. No. I usually keep an eye on the chat. Okay, so spread the oil, and now it's Scotty's turn. Scotty. So only the one in front of Nico is alive, correct? Yeah, there's only the two that one's dead. The one with the skull on it or whatever that is. I got rid of the skull. The golem is still alive. Yeah, this one has Hunter's mark on it. That's what that little mask is. Yeah. Yeah, this one is covered in flammable I'm going to move. I'm not going in. I'm going to go right here. That's in. That's in. next to Alanar. I'm going to go right here. <laughs> you can be next to him. You well, no, like here. Yeah. <laughs> there you right go. Here. And I'm going to. Well, my my long sword won't reach. Will it? No. Nope. So I'm going to have to use my crossbow. I say you throw a torch. <laughs> Do you have a torch? <laughs> something something to ignite the grease? I don't think I do. So, interestingly <laughs> enough, Scotty, um, that is enough to hit. Mm. However, oh, what do you roll? Not being a magical crossbow. <laughs> oh. It does nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Do I have a torch? Like absolutely nothing? Like it is zero? It is immune to attacks that aren't adamantine unless they're magical. So it's a non-magical crossbow. So it just kind of pops off him like he's Superman or something. But he looks like Frankenstein's monster. right? I have a torch. <laughs> You have a second attack. <laughs> what do you want to do with the torch? I'm going to throw my torch at him. Okay. How do I do that? Uh, just roll a d20. Actually, make a strength Make a strength uh, check. I can do that. I'm not feeling very strong. <laughs> oh. Yep. And let me go back to the... 
Oh, four. Um, yeah, you miss. <laughs> it goes to here. Enough that you can see it's it's about six inches away from the pool of oil at his feet. Oh. Mel, blow on the porch to make it go towards it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a little torch over here. It's interesting um, that the guy who made this thing didn't believe in magic, but the thing only is affected by magic. Yeah. <laughs> Makes you think. It has really big toes. <laughs> yeah. Let me get this. Okay. Is that your turn, Scotty? That's all I can do. Okay. Mellis. Okay. I'm going to move down here and. I am going to pull out a torch, light it, and throw it at that guy. Think strong. Uh, you want a strength check? Yes, strength check. Yeah. 22. Ooh, nice and strong. This thing does okay. a Roll a d4. Trying to find out what burning oil does. Three. If nothing else, it'll make it lose its dignity when its loincloth burns off. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it won't. It'll give us disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> although although you rolled for damage on the improvised weapon, it doesn't do any damage. However, the torch does five damage, or the burning oil does five damage. Nice. Um, it has 500 hit points. <laughs> yeah, only 495 <laughs> to go. Yeah. As, or whatever, as a, or whatever it is. I can't remember what it is, but it, it was a ton. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on him as well. Nice. Okay. Maybe he's a baby one with. Maybe. Okay. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay. It is the flying skull's turn. And it's dead. And the little copper that's that's kind of shaking on the ground stop shaking. Yay. And so does the, the skull that was also kind of shaking on the ground. It just stopped shaking. Whoop, whoop. Now it's Book's turn. All right, Book is going to burn up his last level three spell, cast that Spirit to the Guardian spell one more time. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, apparently. Do you have to recast it every time? You can't just move it? I think he dropped it. Oh. After combat. What does it mean when everything goes gray and blue? You might be highlighting a really bad migraine. It's a stroke. <laughs> or... <laughs> Refresh. Yeah, that's what I had to do. All right, so we're going to try it again. <laughs> Spirit of the Guardian right there. We'll go boop. Oh, but it's telling me. What is going on? Okay, there we go. And I think I missed. No, it's uh, it just happens. Oh, okay. Um, and you don't even have to move. And he takes. Looks like it all worked. He takes the damage. Okay, and can I? Will the spiritual weapon move close enough for it yep. to take a swipe? I'll say that you move it just. And if you roll your attack first, or roll your spiritual weapon, I'll just take the attack on that. Oh, yeah, that hits. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Force damage. Seven. <laughs> okay, anything else? That's uh, it. I'm, 
if I, uh, I don't know if I was, I didn't actually physically do it with my icon and token guy, but I moved up, I moved back. Okay. Uh, let me move you back a little bit. Oh, you are moving. Never mind. That somebody else moved me. So oh, I was doing that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're all in front of the door. Uh, Sinidra. Okay. Um, so Nico on the ceiling, would he he would still be within a twenty foot radius, correct? <coughs> um Yeah, he, he still would. Okay. Sorry. Then <laughs> nope, no worries. We're just gonna cast third level chaos bolt. Let's see if that does us any good. Okay. Oh, that hits. Nice. And it's cold damage, which does seem to affect it. He took the damage, and he's still standing. Hmm. Doesn't yeah, seem to be phased yet. Um, trying to see if I have a bonus action that I could use for an attack. I don't think I do. Nope. That would be it for me. Okay. And turn. Get him, Sparrow. Get okay. Him. Question. Come so on. Hunter's mark last turn, which was a bonus action. Yeah. So does that mean I get an action and a bonus action this turn as well? Yep. yep. Every turn. So do bonus actions stack? Like, can I cast... Um, Ensnaring strike bonus action plus hunter's mark. Uh, I think the hunter's mark is concentration. So as long as it's not a concentration spell. Okay. So I got you. You can cast another bonus action. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Uh, let's see. It is. So I'm just going to go ahead and. Yep, I'll go ahead and shoot an arrow and see if I can hit him. Everybody cross your fingers and toes. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I am not rolling well. 16. Oh, that might have been. Uh, it hits. Hey. It has no damage. But I'll give you. I'll give you the hunter's mark damage. So. Oh, okay. So that's a what? I've cast it on two. Too bad you can't shillelagh your arrow. I know, right? <laughs> but, but then again, the um, when you upcast hunter's mark, it just lasts longer. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it doesn't do more damage. It just. So it's still one d six, right? Okay, so one d six. That's a big old two. Wow. <laughs> it's it's damage. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Chris. <laughs> okay. Um yeah. Death by a thousand paper clip cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what it's gonna be. Um uh, that will end my turn. Ooh. Ooh. Alana. <gasps> All righty. Uh -oh. Curl uh, morning is definitely got no, it, This is a Hulk <laughs> smash moment. Time, time out for just one half a second. Okay. okay. He just moved back into my shroud. Does that he does oh, he yeah. take Yay. uh same damage as before, which is it's uh nine. And he falls to the ground lifeless. <laughs> but, you know, it wasn't quite enough. 21 to hit L and R. Oh, jeez. And then how many's remaining again? Eleven to hit. So you take 14 damage. Uh, oh. Yeah, Alanar. I'm assuming the 21 hit. Uh hits. yeah, he's only at 14. Hey, God, hey you have Hellish Rebuke, right? I do. Have a, 
Okay, Kalish, you and me are on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you get these two fists coming at you. The first one bonks you in the head, and the other one misses. But when it hits you, what what happens? What is hellish rebuke? It's hell. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> there it is. So, when you're damaged by a creature within 60 feet that you can see, you're surrounded by hellish flames. Ooh. All right. Here we go. 2d10. Dang, does everybody have wow. any spells at me? <laughs> no, you can just go to their sheet and shirt. Yeah, oh, I just okay. shirt it up in his sheet. I forgot y'all are stalkers. Got it. Where's my character has it now, that, so. now that I know I can do it, I do it all the time. Yep. <laughs> yep. And it made the DC. Now wait, I got 14 hits of damage, right? Uh yes. Okay. But he he, he took about half the damage. Okay. Something at least. But now it's your turn, and he's right in front of you. So, average black, I believe, would be disadvantage if it's a ranged spell. I already, I already rolled though. Oh, you did. Yeah. Wait, no, he, he came in at you, but then this hellish rebuke is a reaction to you being damaged by someone. So it's actually his. It was his turn, right? Mm -hmm. He hit you. Uh now it's your turn. Okay. But if it, you'll have disadvantage if you use a ranged spell on him, but you sense that he's not got much armor. Yeah. He's slow okay. and lumbering. Should I use Eldritch or should I go with a melee? If, if you're going to melee, make sure it's. Uh, magical. magical. Oh, he, magical. he does have a pack <laughs> weapon as a warlock, so I made you pack to the blade since you didn't know what you wanted. So yeah. your blade is a packed weapon. It, it's considered oh. magical. Well, all right. There you go. <laughs> um. Okay, so where am I? So I'm going to move over here and ooh. Am I getting too cocky? Um, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, you're, cool. you're not. You got your back. You got this. You know what? I'm going to, let's see what happens. I'm going to use the longbow. See what happens. Well, you're it's you're going to have disadvantage with a longbow at close range. Do you have a sword or a dagger? I have a long sword. Use that. That's a better idea. Is that magical under his pact? Oh, you I mean, have a long sword plus one. I mean, double check. Yeah, that, that's your that's your that's your pact weapon. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. You now it has five feet reach, so I have to get closer, don't I? No, you, you're, you're 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 five feet away. Oh, okay. Next to him. Yeah. All right, then I'm just gonna stop talking and roll. Okay. <laughs> Channel your inner freak. Oh, you just barely hit. So roll that. This guy is. Come is, on, come on. Okay. So he took the four. Better enough than better. For sure. And anything else? Uh, can I do anything else? No. Mm, I'm good. Cool. Okay. Nico. Okay, I'm gonna. Ah, just got attacked by a cat. Nico <laughs> <laughs> um, said it's my turn. The back's in the ceiling. <laughs> now. I'm not going to stand on the floor still. I'm going to do a Spider-Man standing on the wall yeah. and stab him twice. But Alan is standing on the copper floor and nothing's happening to Alan. Yeah, but Stay it looks on. cooler to do it from the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man style. Yeah. Shell wall. 
That's awesome. So, right here first. Uh, nice. Yep, that hits. And he looks like he's about to fall down, but he's still standing. Well, I don't know if the poison damage is going to work on him, but I'm going to hit it, try to hit him with the poison dagger now. It, it, it's immune to poison, but he only had one hit point, so he's down. <laughs> Yay! Nice! Oh. I just threw out my own curiosity. What did he have? Uh, for hit points? Yeah. Yeah. 93. 73? 93. 93. Crap. See, I told you he's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he's down. Um, and we are out of initiative. So this is an interesting room. Yeah, let's go check it out. Lore I, is lying to, in copper tile. I want to oh, examine that skull. Can I pick it up and do, alas, poor Yorick, I knew thee well. And then I grab it from you and I start examining Aww. it. <laughs> <laughs> if, anybody, if anybody wants, they can make an arcana check as well. I, I, I might as well. Or if you try. If, 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 if I'm, if I'm oh. a plus three on that for some reason. Oh, nice. If, if it does any good. Master, if I am examining, should I do an intelligence roll or? Uh, so you can make an. Um, what the heck? What is it? Uh, Ar arcana? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, you can do an arcana, yeah, or you can do. Um, Perception? Yeah, yeah, you could do it that way. But you can make an investigation check if you're examining the skull in general. I got a 16. Yeah, Scotty, you're the only one who kind of figured this out. Okay. Ah, that's a first. So it's at story time when you were growing up. Everyone talked about these flame skulls, and they would come back to life after you knocked them down unless you removed a curse or poured holy water on them. I'm going to get some holy uh, water story. out of my pocket and pour it on it. You're going to do what? I'm going to get some holy water out of my pocket and pour it on it. <laughs> out of your pocket? Yeah. <laughs> in your pocket? I got a little fish bag of it. Oh, <laughs> man, that stinks. <laughs> I have I have removed curse, but I burned my last. Uh, mm. So I have a holy symbol. Is there a way for a druid to craft holy water, or is that something that like a temple has to do? I have a holy. Can a cleric bless it? Uh, let me check really quick because you do have a couple people in your party. I have an I have a amulet, a holy amulet. Yeah. While you're uh, looking, I'm gonna roll a religion check to see if I could figure out how to uh, make holy water, even though I'm <laughs> not. <a cleric. laughs> okay, well, so it would take right? you an hour, but either whip, uh, or, or I mean, you know, book or. Um, uh, malice, you can ritually create holy water. Oh, nice. Oh. But does what anybody do have holy water? I mean, Scotty, do you really have holy water? No. Okay. <laughs> if I if I can just do it, I'll do it. If I need a spell, you'll have to tell me if I need a, a certain level spell. Um. So you need a, sh a long rest? I guess to recover. Oh no, you need. To, yeah. So I think. Uh, I still have spell slots. Do you have remove curse? No, but I can make holy water. I guess. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it takes to make holy water. Yeah, it takes about an can hour. We do, can we do a short rest while they're doing that? Yeah. I have a pillow, so I'm gonna dump out the the fluff or feathers. And I'm gonna put the skull inside the pillowcase. 
So that way, if it comes back to life, it's in a pillowcase, hidden. I don't know. Maybe it can't <laughs> see, disadvantage. I have no idea. Okay. So you're uh, so while you're doing the short rest, how many of you are doing holy water? Just one or both of you? Well, we might we both might as well do it. I mean, there's no point in one of us not doing it if we can both do it, okay. right? Are we all doing short rest? You, yeah. The rest of you can do a short rest. Yes. Yeah, that don't help anything for me. Hey there, Big Steve. You know, Big Steve, somehow Nico must have hit a button or something because I had thirty-two hit points, but now it says that I'm, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had my yeah. mouse over the hit points. Ah. Uh, and he was sitting on my mouse and it must have <laughs> subtracted all my hit points. I'm gonna turn into a cat on my next wild no shape. Good. None at all. <laughs> you know, I am pretty religious. Should I uh try to help make the holy water? Well, uh you're just a fighter though, right? Yeah. So if you're a cleric or a paladin, you can Ritually create holy water. Nice. I mean, it involves a lot of you know, the uh, rituals. And we have a paladin group. Yeah, yeah I'm a paladin. Yeah. And then Bellus is a paladin. And then um, book is a cleric. So you got now, when you do a short res, do you recover hit points or you, you can you can roll your hit die to do that. So, what's, what's um, the every roll you get, or whatever you roll, you can just hit the uh, short rest and it'll do it for you automatically too. Yeah, because there was an option to either recover with die when you roll a die, or it'll automatically do it. I did the other. I mean, you you might do better if you do it yourself, but you could do a lot worse too. So at level six, you have six hit die. You can roll it up to six times. On a long rest, you recover half of your hit dice. So, for example, if you roll three dice, you can add those hit points back. And then if you take a long rest, you get all three of them back. How do you roll all the dice at once? So far, I'm rolling them one at a time instead of, I wanted to roll four. Oh, so over here, it's a little symbol for the dice. On screen. Oh, okay. So if I it's a D four, I want to roll four. I'll just do that. It's a. If it's a D eight. Yeah, I'm gonna roll. Which hit dice roll I? There we go. You do a D ten as a fighter. D ten. Oh my lord! I only got. I can do up to six plus six. But <clears throat> Nico. If, if you weren't damaged earlier, you, you just get, let's put it back. <laughs> I do um, D10 and I can do up to six. Up to six. And then you'll have to mark them off your sheet. Until you make long rest. But I think clicking long rest will recover them automatically. So we're doing a short rest. We're doing a short rest, yeah. So I just rolled. So how many points am I? Oh, that's how you do it. I see it now. Um, so you got 27. 27. But you didn't lose that many. You can do them one at a time as well. So I got, I did 27, but I didn't lose that many. So would I just get up to 45 then? Would I be full then? Or? Well, if, if you only lost 14, you can... Use just three hit die. I'll let you do that. Just if you look from you know, on your screen, left to right, just add them till you're done, and then don't use the others. Oh, that's. I thought you had to roll them all at the same time. So that's no, no. Just to just roll <laughs> one at a time till you get there. Yeah. Wait. So what do you? I'm I'm confused. Well, what do you mean by doing one at a time? All right. So if you click on short rest. And it brings up the little dice where it says, like, it should say whatever you are. Like, for me, it says cleric. 
And then if okay. you want to roll multiple dice, you just click the, the you, you get up to six. But if you only want two, then you just click two of those. And you can do it all three at once, or you can do it not click any of them and then just do it one at a time. I got it now. Oh, I didn't do that right then. I added plus six. I should have added just plus two. I'm just going to... Okay. Uh-oh. Somebody's <laughs> dying. Oh, let me double check something, too. Um, Stalker app tells me. Stalker app. <laughs> I'm going to use one more of these rolls. Let me uh, double check something really quick. If you're not if you're not clicking the d hit dice in your D and D Beyond, um, well, I just did that. I got a six. So you also add your Constitution modifier. So, um, so for example, if your Constitution modifier is a plus two, and you roll a four, it's actually a six because you add the two. Oh, that's where the plus six would have come. Because I just yeah. did plus two for all four rolls. Oh, it's, I it's pretty six. Okay. I'm full then. That's good. Okay. So confusing. Yeah, constitution plus two. <coughs> ah, okay. okay. <laughs> well, I got all but one hit point back. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Um, so, Book and Malice, why don't we roll initiative? Ooh. Roll initiative. <laughs> I like it. Wait, roll That's initiative. You're going to try to use this right away, right? I am going to go last because that's seven. <laughs> well, dorks aren't fast. Wait, what is oh, it? I got a seven two whip. Oh, but you're not doing the holy water. Just yeah, it's Melis. just Melis and oh, yeah. sorry. Ignore them. You got that bad roll out of the way, so your next one should be good. Yeah. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there we go. All That's right. That's why you have two people doing it. That's right, baby. And it rolled a 13. So if you're immediately throwing up, pouring the holy water on it, it you did it. So nice. Cool. Nothing, nothing happens <laughs> that you can tell. Be a little sizzling or whatever, but uh so it's it's really odd that this is um Alec looking flaming skull for the. So after they pour the holy water on it, I'm just going to tie the bag and then like sit it in a corner. Okay. And oh, we I think can... we should keep it uh -huh. and put it in the bar on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe. <laughs> it's, yeah. It seems like Eleanor was interested in it. I mean, he might be able to do something with it. Some Go point. ahead and grab it. <laughs> Mm. We can put it in the bag of holding, right? Yeah, the bag yeah. within the bag. You stay in there. That bag has got to be so packed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to pick up my piece of copper again. Okay. I don't remember which Monty Python movie it was, but uh, the one that uh, shows uh, Mr. Caruso, just one more wafer. Ah. Anybody? Anybody? Nobody? Oh, which, yeah. which one? Uh, the Monty Python bit where uh, Mr. Caruso comes in, he, he's like, oh, I'm so full. What about one more thin wafer? Is that a movie? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Scotty, you don't know Monty Python? You you, no. you really should watch that. I mean, that's uh, that's iconic. Uh, the whole I don't girl, know what really are. Are. This is a what? ramp going down, and you know it goes to that 
altar area that you've been before. So you've been down here. Oh, okay. Uh, the meaning of life whip. Uh, meaning of life. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you see a door over here. Let's go that way. Let's go there. Oh, uh, there's a lot of movement going on here. Boom. Did we loot? Did we? Uh, and I did, did we investigate the room or anything? I, yeah, I don't there's. Remember. It's just yeah. the copper plates on the floor, the copper tiles. Okay, and there's no putting those in the bag. It will explode. <laughs> yeah, once oh. that skull comes back to life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are normal stone floors in the passageway. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's one of us. Uh, Sanidra, you hear some sort of rustling behind the door? It, could it be that creature? <laughs> I think she's listening at the door. She's listening at the door. She hears some, some rustling. Like, Well, there's something in there, guys. Something's Wait, near the door. Hold on. What the? Is, is, is my, uh, is right my shroud still on? Sorry, I talked over somebody. There's something north of us. Yeah, there's a passageway. It, it it's the same passageway you went down before you found the. Uh... No, what's that? Is that one of us, the creature? <laughs> Where? This is Cindera, and that's book. No, it's oh this that's one. Yeah, that. Oh, one. he's looking in the dead zone. I don't see nothing. Uh, in, if in the dead zone is just, don't worry about that. There's nothing to see behind the curtain. He's gone. seen too much. Pull out the men in black. Um, forget me. <laughs> <laughs> that movie I've seen. <laughs> oh, thank God. That's okay. something you've seen. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Billion. So are we going through the door or not? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. before we open the door, Mr. Oh. Uh, Close Is my shroud still uh, swirling about me, or is that something that I, I lose? Yeah, that would have are... dropped. That would have oh. dropped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. Um, my guys. The door was open. We quickly close it back. <laughs> what the hell is that? They are called ghasts. Snake. I feel like we're gonna get licked. <laughs> oh, you know what they look like. <laughs> On screen. Oh my lord. Oh, they're huge. Huge. Okay. <laughs> look at them close. Okay. Time it is. Oh well, let me clear the initiative order. Oh, so we are actually finding them. God dang it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were waiting for you. They heard you coming. <clears throat> Told you to close the door. Oh, what a roll. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I didn't oh, do much what? better, Scotty. Uh, um, <laughs> I never do any good on this. So okay, low. that's decent. Why is my initiative so low today? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> 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 we should all hold our actions just for Scotty. <laughs> well, I'm going to run downstairs to the fridge because I got some time to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also it smells really bad. Great. Oh, lovely. At least Killer's lucky she can smell squat. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, reorder. Oh. Oh, wait, did my thing not go through? Let's see. Oh, yeah, select your token and, and roll. And then I can... Oh, they're really fast. Yep. And I'll update it to the seven. Oh, well, I got 14. That. Can update it to seven. Uh, yeah, I'm. I put it back to the seven. But let me. Uh, cool. get back. So, Ellis, bring it on. Comes <laughs> up and he does his claw attack. Try to hit me. Oh gosh, they were. Trying to hit. 
How much? A nine. Oh, that's a terrible miss. <laughs> <laughs> Not even uh, close. Nico, you he got one. Laughs. You got come, oh. one coming up at you, Nico. Ten. That misses. Oh. Nico, roll a constitution saving throw. Constitution. This guy reeks. And the smell is going to knock you off your feet, but you, you, you pass, so. Constitution. <laughs> I smell more. I've lived with Pharaoh my whole life. Hey. <laughs> Stop concentrating on spider clump now, Jack. <laughs> oh yeah. I figured I lost it when we. Yeah, did it's an hour only, so. Yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious, though. <laughs> go, Nico, go. Oh, is it my turn? Yep, it's your turn. Well, then I'm going to attack the one in front. Oh, Lord. Does an 11 hit? Oh. Mm. Not quite. Ugh. Okay. And now it's the cool dagger of venom. Oh. 18. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's nice. I think I'm left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta swap hands. Oh, and you get the sneak attack too. Oh, that's awesome. However, um, the poison doesn't do anything. Oh, no, not a thing. Wah, wah, wah. Still get hit though. It's an interest turn. All right, I'm going to go after the one right in front of Nico with Chaos Bolt. Okay. Oh, that sounds awesome. What's that one do? That hits. He looks really rough right now. Excellent. Anything else? Uh, nope, that'll be it. Okay, Mellis. Okay, uh, I had to refresh again, so I'm trying to find the map. Oh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, so I've got this guy right in front of me. I'm going to do my standard attack with the battle axe. Do you ever get something called cleave? Mm, I don't know. 20 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. For wow, 12 nice. points. Damn, oh, 13. Oh, 13. Okay, that's hit number one. Um, and then I'm going to attack again. Mm, 16 to hit. Nice. Per, I can't nice. see your dice. Sure. You're like a freaking then, uh, if he's still up, I'm gonna hit him also with a smite. Okay, he's still up. Oh, you're all in light crazy another, <laughs> another, for another nine points. Yep, yeah, he's still standing, <laughs> yeah. but he is looking kind of rough. Um, <clears throat> yep, that's all I got. Okay. Eleanor. Okay. So the one right in who's in front of me right now? Uh that's Nico in front of you. Oh. <clears throat> my feet, man. Yeah, um, you can you can shoot through them. He just yeah. stabbed Nico right in the back. Yeah. <laughs> or I would just hop on his shoulder and fire from there. I can do that. <laughs> I'm not very uh, tall. Oh, well, at least I'm not going to be firing an arrow at you. <laughs> You're right. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so I'm going to use um, longbow for this one. Let's go. With, okay. with the one to the one right in front of me. Okay. 
16. That hits. And then damage. Nice. Uh, actually, Brock. Woohoo! So he's down. Hey. Anything else? And then. Am I able to attack again, or is that it? No. Um, unless you have extra attack. Do you have extra attack? Like a bonus? If, if you use an Eldritch Blast, you get two blasts. As right. One attack. But if you're just a longbow, one shot again at that. So it's just one shot. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right, book's turn. It's book's turn. Yay, book. Come on, book. I am going to shoot. What am I going to do here? There's too many people what, in what the way. What are the hit points on the <laughs> Um, It's almost 40 points. Hmm. So I'm going to, like, uh, fire around. Okay. Who's in front of me? Uh, Malice is in front of you, and then there's a ghast in front of him. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to fire around him with a, uh, Let's see. Do I, I have second level spells left? You might have a good cantrip that would work good. I have either guiding bolt as a second, or uh, I got told with that as a cantrip. But that never really seems to do much damage. It'll do more because he's hurt. Or do nothing. Right. It multiplies on damage. I'll I'll give that a try. Toll of the dead on the guy directly in f in front of uh, you said Mellis is in front of me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, he saved. Ah. Oh. So he that takes really good damage. damage though. Yeah. I'm sorry, Whip. Right. <laughs> it wasn't your role. <laughs> but mine might be a crappy roll. This is just rolling on fire tonight. Yeah. It's my turn. Um, no, I can, the only thing I can do other than that is drop my spiritual weapon, but I don't know yeah. if it's worth it. I'd you say done did not. kill one already. The other one's hurt. I'd say Melis looks like he's almost took care of one and yeah. I think we can whittle the I'm going to end my turn right there. Right there. Oop. Oh, one guy comes up. Oh, he died. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. There's a pool or something there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he steps on the dead guy and then attacks uh, Nico. Bob and Weed. 21. That's a hit. I bobbed yeah. into it. Make a <laughs> so that's 10 damage. Okay. Uh, constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you made it. Nice. Fifth turn, so Sparrow. All right. I'm going to come back here and line up my shot. And let's do... I'll do longbow. Which one? And I'll shoot the one in front of Nico. Okay. That one's a real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> it's a new jerk. A 23 yeah. for seven piercing. Yep, that hits. Nice. And that's pretty much all I got. How do you actually get to roll? Holy <laughs> smokes! <laughs> Come on, Scotty. He, but he he's, can't go on, nowhere. Scotty, you got this. Finish them all. All right, I'm gonna move closer. Uh, so. Oh, let's see. It's kind of.
kind of tight. You can make a crossbow shot. From right here. Yeah. Poor Scotty. <laughs> That's always a bad it's, math layout. Yeah, but if you, if you block the door, you take damage, right? <laughs> right. Let's see here. You can't really force your way past the enemies, but. Yeah, we could have pulled them back for a kill box and had them all. I'm assuming a 20 hits. Oh, That's yeah, that hits. Nice. 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 Yep. I bet that's really annoying to him. <laughs> Two pieces and of stuck into his body. Since um, we took a short rest, I can do a second attack again, right? Um, well, you have a loading. If you want to use your action surge, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Basically, you fired a shot, you reloaded, and then you're firing it. Oh. oh, that's an issue. Did it work? No, it's Wait. initiative. What the heck? I hit the wrong arm, an idiot. That one. There you that go. Hits. Yeah. Four, three. Good enough. He's taking damage. Uh, should I uh, step out of the way so that people can move up? Uh, it'll let me move, move back. Yeah, I, I think we're all going to move back yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. That way, one of those can move up. Um, now it's, you're getting the claws. Nope, you're not. <laughs> Nico. Yes. You got a new bag. Oh, I'm up. You're right. I thought I was going to do a get attacked. <laughs> okay. Uh, rapier. Okay. Oh. Put it in your left there hand. <laughs> I must have. Oh. <laughs> nice. Critical. <laughs> Woohoo. On a sneak attack. Uh, I tell you, he either rolled really good or really bad. With that right <laughs> yeah, but it's no, I don't roll tens. <clears throat> One okay. he didn't, he's still up. Yep. Yeah, well, no, he's down, but you got a second attack with your stabby. Well, I'll I'll stab the guy on the side, but I mean they're immune to uh poison anyway, but I've used the poison. Yeah. Oh, and poison too. Yeah, it was in your right. Oh. Yeah, you pushed <laughs> in. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you're not doing anything else. Oh, can I can I move down so oh, you can move forward, can yeah. get in? Yeah. I, can move I'll, forward. I'll move forward. There we go. Now it's Sinedra's turn. All right. Is this one looking pretty pretty ragged too or yeah, he's he's really ragged. Okay, I am just gonna hit it with my crossbow then instead of burning the spell point and see if never mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it kind of bounces off the ceiling. <laughs> All of us take cover. <laughs> oh, I really should just leave that thing in the pack. <laughs> and <we're all> cut. <laughs> Okay. okay, well, that your turn? next. <laughs> uh, that okay, you guys know what I'm going to do? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, this thing's spinning and spinning and spinning. 15 to hit for 9 points, 10 points of damage. Oh, yeah, he's down. 11 points of damage, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's down. He didn't know what hit him. I shouldn't have got behind him. Now I got price. Then I'm going to move into the room as well. <laughs> okay, but we're we're done. So. Hey. And, oh, when you moved into the room. Uh, let's see. It looks like a mining operation, mm. or what? What's Ooh. left of one? You see, <clears throat> pickaxes and hammers on the floor. 
a lot of gnawed bones, some torn robes. Um, oh, wait, sorry, sorry. There are robes and some rubber boots. Um, it looks like something like a wizard would wear. And the remains of look like, um, actually, the skeletal remains of uh, something but without a head. If you want to investigate, you can, or take a medicine check. I'll do okay. it. Okay. I'll do an investigation just to see what I can find. Oh, that okay. one? I didn't know nothing. <laughs> I know a lot, though. <laughs> For you some reason, Scotty written doctor. Scotty heard a lot of bedtime stories. <laughs> so um, with the investigation check, Nico, you probably look at the robe, look at the little tag in the back, and it says the word Trenzia. Like, you know, someone wrote their name on it. Um, so this person's name was Trenzia. Uh, Scotty has seen enough picture books to know that, oh, this these are the bones of a female half-elf. <laughs> 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 what kind of bedtime stories have you been listening to? <laughs> <laughs> you might have been reading about this one. <laughs> but, uh, I just yeah. hit my head in disappointment. <laughs> You'd be surprised what entertains dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> it was a half-elf. <laughs> The rubber boots would have came in handy a room ago. Yeah, the rubber boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Definitely. Are they your, good rubber? Yeah, and I think I think with your medicine check, you're like, you know, this is about the size of that skull. The skull would have fit perfectly right here. Um, oh. Yeah, this this is I where the skull came from. Uh, I still have the skull. Oh. He reads a lot. <laughs> uh, and that's uh, anything else you want to do in this area? Well, are those rubber boots, are they man size, girl size, or? <laughs> it was a uh, they it was a girl. They're, they're girl sized. You're a small uh, rail, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I have very large feet for a drow. I don't. I don't have big feet, but I know taller men with smaller feet. Than Rick, uh, <laughs> question, I wasn't really paying attention. Where was the skull supposedly from? Like, uh, was so there's the body of a, a female half elf wizard, but it's missing its head. Uh, okay. However, Scotty got a 19 on his medicine check, and it's like that's about the same size that you know proportionally. That, that's probably about the head that would have fit there. Gotcha. Can we? I thought, I thought it was like an altar, and I was like, "Well, I still have the head, so I can put it on the altar and see what happens." But never mind. Can I take the rubber boots? If that's okay. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. I'm going to take a look around the room while we're here. Yeah. So there's all sorts of, and 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 these are broken, so they're not really going to be useful. But the pickaxes, the hammers, a lot of nod bones. Um. What are but, the robes like? Were were they mining coal or diamonds? Copper? Um, from what you can see, I would say that, well, Sinedra, you would know that, yeah, they, this is probably where they were mining the copper. I can see oh. flakes of copper on the tools. Um, this is definitely where they got the copper. We're at least close by. That makes okay. sense. Uh, so nothing else in this room. You want to keep moving? Yep. Yeah. Good with that. Slowly. Because it would be nice to get to a place where we can do a rest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. So you see... Oh, so on. this... From what you can see the tunnel and how it's rough around the edges and kind of a little misshapen in places, this is where they've been mining the ore. 
-hmm. So at the very far end, you see a vein of copper exposed in the stone. And, you know, there's some, some loose dirt, you know, rock all around that they haven't cleared yet. Is there any copper ore that can be collected from that area? Um, not that you can see, at least nothing, you know, there's flakes here and there, but they've probably moved it all into the other area. You turn. We've already got we got a butt ton of it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you want to roll a quick perception check if you're looking down the hall? I'll do oh, it. Sure. Yeah. I wonder if there's a secret door or something. Yay. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Scotty, you see a piece of paper. Oh. Uh, <laughs> tucked, tucked it between some stones. I'm going to grab it and read it. It looks like another page of that journal. It says day 10. With lightning and copper wires, I created a pack of ghouls. Hal was not impressed. He says, I'm not ready for Dwayne Dwayne Put it in chat. Man, this must be. Daddy. <laughs> I'm sure the dwarves can read it. But. Um, and it's Arcane Secrets. I'll show him. His flesh golem has given me an idea. For a trap more devious than any Hal could devise. Uh oh. Lightning. Is there huh. anything it can't do? So, um, yeah. are they talking about Hal the zombie or Hal the wizard of this or the mad mage? Is that um, the name of the mad mage? Yeah. So, Halister is his full name. Okay. Uh, Trenzia is being a little too familiar with her master. The Wimmer Core. Sounds like an HR issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was an HR issue and something happened and she lost her head. And... But... So, yeah, we, we went a little longer today. This, this is, you still have a little bit left to go. You would have to go to the northwest. Um, if we want to end it here, we can, but you had that small spur where you heard the kind of clattering like pots and pans. Yep. Oh, yeah. And we can start. I'm going to go a little longer if you guys want to. Yeah, I'm good. So it's he's really tired and he has to get up right at four in the morning. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can still go, though. I mean, it's only 930 here. Oh, okay. It's 1024 okay. over here. I will yeah. move you. To where you heard the noise. Perfect. If everyone wants to get in the collection. Be me up. Me. Sure. Me. Gather up. Gather up. <laughs> and I'll move you. Huddle up. Everybody huddle around. I want to be over here. Gotta get your butt over here. <laughs> here we go. Is that everybody? Okay. I think we lost Nico. Zero, four, five, six. No, I jumped in Q, there. Q oh, are you in there too? Oh, you're in the back. I got you. All right. My mouse has gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really cool how we're moving. It's a new special Oops. effect. It's like a thing. Oh, like a pile of pennies. Okay. Ah. So I, I kind of moved you one space. So there, there was the door. Uh, let me read what, what's going on here. Um, this is a different area. It is this looks like an abandoned laboratory. A little bit like the one you saw with the lightning, except this is just kind of abandoned. It's got some dusty tables. This one has cauldrons instead of the metal equipment. No. Uh, there's a stone hearth in the area. And there are different types of tools. Looks like an alchemist laboratory. Can anyone detect magic? No. I can identify it. Well, so, do you see any? But well, it's just I can only like, identify an individual thing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But there's no like doors or anything in here. Um, just that little passageway to the side. Okay. 
I guess I'll investigate the room. Oh. Sparrow. So you don't sense anything in the room you're in. Sparrow jumped into the next room. Oh, I'm sorry. And this, is a, <laughs> this is an old kitchen with an old oven range, a uh, wash basin, a hearth with a uh, covered cook pot, shelves with pots and pans, and when the wind blows, they kind of rattle around a little bit. I think it's time we cook that goat. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's a, there's, a covered, there's a covered cook pot in the hearth. Um, Oh. You know what we should do is we should take that goat back to that goblin trading post and have a big fiesta <laughs> once we once we get done with all this. <laughs> First do what they'll trade us for a goat. Party with the yes, goblin. Yes. This goat is gonna save somebody's life and y'all be like, we are never gonna <laughs> quit this goat. <laughs> and then there's a sign on the door. Sure, that goat I, is going to save some. What, what are you guys doing in the kitchen, though? I mean, so there's a sign on the door. Oh, what's the sign? I guess say? we'll investigate the room. Is there any fresh produce? <laughs> oh, nothing's fresh. It's all old. <laughs> oh. Is there um, any MREs? <laughs> I'm going to search around. You what do? if I think your camera froze? What's that? Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just sitting very still. Uh, so, yeah, Sandra and uh, Nico, you don't, you don't see anything around. If, if you start, I mean, you're just checking walls or are you checking something else? Of uh, I'll, like, go through the kit. Okay. Is, is there, like, a recipe book or anything or? No, nothing you can tell. The sign on the door says Calabash's room. Do not enter unless your name is Hallister. Oh. So this looks like, a, it looks like a Prentice's my area. Name is, my name is Alanar. It's close enough. <laughs> and we send the goat in. I have you named know, the goat Hallister. Okay. Yeah, so that we are. <laughs> Chuck it in. So you're going in? Is the door locked? No, the uh, no, but let me let me let me open it. Hold on. Let me get to a different layer on the. They're a trusting lot in this dungeon. Not very many locked doors. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks like uh, someone's bedroom. Ooh. Ooh. Pardon the intrusion. <laughs> when you walk in. You notice there is an old rug, old woven rug in the middle of the room with arcane symbols woven into it. Can I, in, can I, I don't know, investigate or should I roll an arcane or? It, it's a, it's a throwing, it's like a throw rug. It's like just kind of a circular rug, but it's got a arcane pattern to it. Uh, Can, I look 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 under the rug? Hmm? Can I look under the rug? Can I look under the rug? Oh, can you repeat it? I, Good idea. Can I look under the rug? Yeah, you can look under the rug. Um, okay. You see there's something painted on the floor. Uh -oh. Do I recognize what it is? Pick up an edge, you see another pattern. More arcane patterns <laughs> painted on the stone floor. Can I walk Hallister the goat in the middle of the circle and see if anything happens? <laughs> ritual, uh, ritual, ritual. No. <laughs> on, on, on the carpet or did you, are you moving the carpet? Yeah, on the carpet. And he and flies he, away like Aladdin. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> I can show you the world. Yeah, you might need to be on the floor, and you might need to slit its throat. No! Yeah. <laughs> Paladin, are you? <laughs> yeah, I hope vengeance, Paladin. Apparently. Yeah. 
eight people and want to kill them all. Honestly. <laughs> Oh, not really. Our car says, oh, light really candles, tight. draw the star. <sighs> Would I recognize the writing underneath the rug? Uh, you'd have to lift the whole rug up. Okay. Let's do that. Well, I want to take a look. Let's okay. roll it up. I'll help Nico roll up the rug and move it off to the side. But with that arcana check, okay, this is a summoning circle. Yep. Ooh, called it. Part of it, it looks like it's been erased. However, with that Arcana roll, you can tell what's missing and can recreate it if you want. Oh, awesome. Do I know what it would be summoning? Hmm. Or what would be required? You, you cannot tell, but you would need blood or paint, and you could recreate what's missing from the circle. All right. Who's got the goat? Give me I'm the goat. I'm putting the goat behind <laughs> me. And... Can I I'll See take a Jason water skin out and I'll cut my hand and bleed into it so she have blood. Yeah, I, I was gonna say um, we should all probably take a good long rest before we start decide to summon something that we don't know what it's gonna be because I'm almost out of spells and I'm pretty sure a book is almost out of spells. Yeah, so is my life. And I don't want to die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. I have all my spells. <laughs> you go right ahead then, Nico. <laughs> but my I'll be waiting out. outside. So I think if we're going to rest here, which I think we should, we should probably definitely set up a guard. Okay. Uh, because I don't love the idea of sleeping in a room with a summoning circle in the middle of it. So we definitely want somebody on guard. Uh, we could do what we did last time. Uh, Mellis and Sparrow, uh, Shepard and Usama, and then Nico and Sinidra, I guess. Yeah, I'd like to investigate the room pretty well before we start bedding down for the night. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Are there shelves or cabinets to go through? Um, so there is a well, shelf. There you go, Sama. Nice. Yeah, there is a wooden chest in the room too. Uh -huh. Like kind of like someone's foot foot locker. Is there um, a mattress in a box spring? I'd like to look under the bed or through the bed. Yeah, it's really old. Uh, I'm curious as apparently I'm gonna spend the next hour memorizing that arcana because that's the only thing I'm interested in at the moment. And and then you do notice that the the chest is trapped. Is cracked. Uh, trapped. What should we uh, do? Lock picks. No. I have some lock picks. I think I have lock picks. I have uh, a plus well, ten at un disarming traps. Oh my goodness! That's my go specialty, and I never get to do it. Go do Somebody it. My do it. Lock Curiosity is getting the best of me. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 13. That kind of stinks. Okay. You think it's disarmed. I think it's disarmed, guys. You want to check to see if it's locked, and then I'll try to unlock it? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to open it. it. It's locked. Nothing happens when you try to open it, but it's locked. Okay, here goes Get back in there. Yeah, there it so you open it. It is What's in it? empty What's in it? except for a single note. I grab the note. Okay. It says, retirement <laughs> fund, don't spend this on ale, Calabash. <laughs> oh, no. I, I look at the note in not so interesting and just hand it off to Sparrow. It's kind of a bad joke because the chest is empty. <laughs> that's his, that's Calabash's retirement fund. Um, there are a, a collection of about 20 old books on the shelves. Ooh. Hey, I'm that old. <laughs> now, with the books, I'm curious to see if they contain any information regarding that summoning circle. Okay. 
So or gonna, any are money. You, are you gonna open one? Yes. Okay. The pages are blank. Ooh. Oh lovely. Would it be a book that is under a type of spell where the text is hidden, like the martyrs map? Um, these look like a book books that a wizard would buy. Oh, I know these this one. They're spell books, but they're but if you open any of them, they're empty. Um, you can try to you can try something to see if. If there's anything else you can do. Anybody have any lemon juice? <laughs> lemon juice. It, it, I, I saw Harry can Potter. They can they can just tell you to make it tell your secrets. Yeah. Can I roll I my own? I saw I'm yeah. up to no good. Yeah, it's, it's the martyr map. Yeah. yeah. Uh I rolled a fifteen to see if I could figure out a book. Yep. Uh these don't look like they ever contained anything uh you can't sense any bit of magic about it or, or remember anything that would allow magic to hide the pages that you wouldn't have been able to check at least that this was a better quality book these just look like old books that a wizard would have used to start their spell book but there's 20 of them and they're all blank uh, yeah something's up well they're of no use currently, but I'll take one or two just to write stuff in. Okay. And then I think with that, at least you're the roguish drow knows that, you know, these have value. <laughs> I'm sure wizards buy these in places. Yeah, books are very valuable. So, so um, I'll type it I suggest, in the chat. Oh, go ahead. I suggest that everybody take two. Would, is there, there enough for everybody to take two? or? And then uh, we, do we call you in the morning? Yep, yep. <laughs> There's enough for each of you to take two. So 20 book for 10 gold pieces each, if you sell them. I'm going to write that down. So if all of us take two, then that means two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 books have been taken. Uh, we also got 164 gold last week when you weren't here. So if you want to add that to our group tally. Wait, how many pieces of gold? 164. That's the group. That's a group amount. Yep. Right. So, um, okay. And you're taking your long rest. Um, every once in a while, whoever's on first watch just hears little rattling and clanging in the next room. Like in the next, very next room? Yeah, the like, kitchen area you went through. Just like, yeah. almost like chimes. Yeah, this is where the wind's like blowing. Wind. Is that I door shut? Where, where is that wind coming from? It's just a slight breeze, but it's enough where, you know, they're just kind of swaying and but we're in a dungeon with no windows, so that is weird, right? Well, they're probably, it, it's probably coming down the passageways. It'll just lull us to sleep. It could be a tunnel or a vent or Maybe. any number of things. Are we doing a long rest? Yeah. yeah. Well, do we have to complete the long rest before we say we did a long rest? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's about eight hours, so. I mean, nothing eventful happens other than that noise that you keep hearing. Okay. I wasn't sure if that you said the first... <laughs> first I mean, shift, I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't hit that until we know. <laughs> but you can go check if you want. I already hit the one. <laughs> Before we do our long rest, can I do identify magic on the most used of all the books? Like That's if magic. there's one that looks like it's... Just to see if I can identify any um, magic to a book? If you want to use identify, then you can't identify anything other than the book. There's nothing magical about it. Okay. I just figure mine's well try. Yeah. So identify doesn't pick up anything. We're missing something. There's no way to do this. Um, so many books that have <laughs> nothing written in them. Well, so since I'm on first watch, when I hear those noises, I'm going to 
whisper to Sparrow, and I'm going to peek my head out into the kitchen area and see if I can see what's causing it. I'll draw my bow and following. I'm going to keep sleeping. <laughs> see? That guy. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Come Let's on. See. What's that guy? Uh, I'm not unless your name is Hellas. I'm sort of back there. So, I, um, wake, I wake up from the ruckus and try to see what's going on. What ruckus? Is there, there a the ruckus? <laughs> I'm but anyway, Ma Malus, uh, so here's how we'll do this. Just then Malus. Okay. Yeah, just Malus roll the uh, initiative. Sparrow wouldn't to. Uh, anybody who poked their head out the door. Oh, no. Yeah. I just knocked an arrow and waiting inside the room. I got a five. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, yep. <laughs> It's good I'm tough. True. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Right? Yeah. I mean, that we, we can't yeah, pretend well, like we're... Asleep. Yeah, sleeping people can't do anything. Um, um, actually, I have... Uh, let's see if I can get this to scan. I have a crossbow light of warning so that uh, magical weapon warns you of danger. While the weapon is on your person, you have advantage on initiative rolls in addition to you and any of your companions within 30 feet can't be surprised except when incapacitated by something other than non-magical sleep. Okay. Wow, so, that's pretty cool. Good. Not so, so you're not surprised. Um... You're not well, we're still sleeping, feet. right? Or did, does that wake us up? No, it awakens you and your companions within range if any of you are sleeping naturally when combat begins. Yeah. Nice. I guess I could wow. have read that. I, 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 uh, so can we all roll initiative then? Uh, so you sense it when it happens. Okay. But yeah, if everyone wants to roll initiative, they can. <laughs> oh, sure, now I get a good one. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yep. Hey, it's Coro. Hey, Coro. Oops. It worked. Hey, Coro. Worked. Hey, Coro. Very, very quiet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very, very quiet. I'm we're, hunting, we're hunting purple guys with white hair. <laughs> so if Nico, if Nico was sleeping, it's yeah. half your movement to get out out of bed. Okay. And then would Melis not okay. have a? Surprise attack or the creature or surprise attack on Melis? Uh, well, it goes before Melis, but it used its action already. Oh, okay. So Actually, I can only move three squares. Right, let's just do one round first with Melis. Okay. So Melis, uh, it it went. Okay. It, well, I'm going to something, up. and now you hear the rattling get, you know, hot pans. Yeah. Four of them are starting to try to come off of, of their hinges or whatever, whatever they're hanging on. Yeah. But they don't do that yet. You, yep. It's now your turn. Okay. I'm going to move up here. I'm going to hit him. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> 27 for 13 points. And then I'm going to hit him since, again. Since it took all the damage, meaning it, it, it did full damage. 19. 
I don't know who's rolling better tonight, Chris or Melis. <laughs> yep, and it and it oh. dissipates. This was a specter. Oh, sweet. and then the pots and pans stop rattling. Huh. Nice. All right, keep it down. I'm going to sleep. There you go. <laughs> I'm just going right, to do a little circuit circuit of the room to see if anything else is going on, but then come back and give the all clear. Okay. I'll put my arrow back in its quiver. <laughs> okay, cool. Is that going to be like a Fantasia fight? Wow. <laughs> uh, by brooms and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a Fantasia fight. <laughs> Totally true. Walter's <laughs> apprentice. That could have been bad. You, oh, you get road. your long rest. Oh, the yellow brick road. So we, we do complete the long rest. You do complete the long rest. Woohoo. Okay. Cool. All right. And so where haven't we been? Oh, we're doing the summoning circle. Yeah, you get the right. summoning circle. I forgot. Okay. I still say we get the goat out. No, I'm hiding <laughs> the goat. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Do what? We could go get a I'm goblin. Paint the things in. So you can. I mean, how much blood more. does she need? Like, if I cut my hand. Uh, yeah, you could you could use it. I mean, you can smear it. Uh, roll a d10. Me? Well, wait, Me? isn't oh, uh, Cinderin? Oh, Cinderin. Okay. Isn't the circle incomplete? So it's incomplete, but Cinderin recognizes what needs to change. Okay. Uh, and you estimate it'll be take about five minutes. So five people have to cut their volunteer to offer blood. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll what do am it. I rolling again? What? You don't roll what? anything. You don't roll. You just are. You, are you volunteering as tribute? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> But yeah, it's a uh, you know it's 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 kind of like you know you, it's just a, a little bit and then you can bandage it up afterwards. Yeah. So, but about a minute a person uh, takes about five minutes. So okay, as Sparrow, um, sorry, everybody raise your hand. Oh. Book. We have five people. <laughs> Who else? But Nope. And Alice. I, I need my fingers fresh for unlocking things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Melis is not doing it either. Okay. I Carry prefer to spill <laughs> their blood, not my blood. I'm so an intellectual. Can we man. melt the like, or can we bleed the goat for one? A little. Just a little. Sure. That's three. Four if Senator's doing it. Yep. I have a five. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see whip. Okay. Thank so you. Who's the last me. one? So. You all lose a leg now. Ooh, that's holy <laughs> blood. That'll be nice. <laughs> so what I'm going to stealth all this time. Sorry, what was that? Do we have to say any stealth? Okay. So. Who was the last person? Was it Whip? Oh, Me. Okay. So you're offering your blood, and you finish the circle. The circle of life. Or death. It's the circle. And somebody comes into view. Great. Is that a tiefling? Uh, let me double check. I don't think it is. Maybe I just need <laughs> one anyway. But uh, yeah, I talk to him. <laughs> I keep double clicking. I shouldn't. It kind of looks like one, but yeah, it's not. It's a. Uh, it's got wizard. Do I know what it is? Uh, let me see how this will play, play out. Do tieflings have their own language? 
Um, I don't know. Not as far as I know. Infernal. They speak infernal, I think. Yeah, infernal. Well, you guys are just making this up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Whip, here's the secret. It's all made up. Know. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Except for so I'm going to ask it where it comes from. <laughs> Xanadu, that's the un unforgivable secret. And that's. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, time for initiative again. No, oh, Mama. Oh, boy. Oh, we're fresh. We got this. We Show don't necessarily time. have to kill him. True. Let's talk to him. It. We summoned him just to kill him. <laughs> Clearly. Well, we'll, well see what happens. We might wanna... Good grief. I mean, if he's, if he's a regular <laughs> thing that gets summoned, he might have some information for us. Cause, Ooh, cause... I might, uh, if I just disappear all of a sudden, it's because we lost power. Just to let you know. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, hey, wait, I, I keep get forgetting. Home. Scotty, um, you literally rolled a one? Again? Thank you. <laughs> Scotty. you got to get some new dice. Yeah. I, was just <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, yeah, my I didn't catch any good. of that there, Lucella. Uh, I was asking, how's the tank that started leaking last time? Oh, it's uh, it's empty and for oh. sale. <laughs> I, I put I put on there it does not hold water. It might be good for a lizard. <laughs> Terrarium. That's all the people that's bought my tanks that I've sold have been like gecko owners and snake owners. Yeah. I clearly marked it too high though. I, I marked it for a hundred bucks just because a stand is 140 brand new. Yeah. But uh it's been six days and nobody has so much as Peeped. <laughs> you could keep yeah. the stand and sell it for five. The tank, yeah. So he um, so this being appears. He's got a book in his hand. Looks like he's in his sleeping clothes. <laughs> and a song in his heart. Yeah, he looks like he's three sheets to the wind, and then he looks angry, like you know, angry drunk look. <laughs> And uh, he's going to start coming after uh, Book because Book happens to be there. But before he can, Nico, you're first in the list. Well, if he's going to go after my friend, I'm going to stab him in the back. <laughs> I was going to ask him who he was, but he just seems rude and callous. <laughs> callous. Yes. <laughs> okay. I got him with my Ooh. right, and let's see what I do with my left. Yeah, you thought it hit. Oh no, he. Oh my lord! <laughs> no, that hit. And then the dagger, and it pumps in the venom, uh, and it's like, oh my god. Uh, so he is not doing very well. I real. I was planning on talking to him. <laughs> I, I ruptured his kidney. Well, that's <laughs> nice now. So, yeah, he's he's poisoned and taking a lot of damage, and he's bleeding out of two wounds, and now it's Sparrow's turn. Well, I'm conflicted. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> um, well, at this point, just put a lot of his misery. Uh, I know who he is. Well, I don't speak Infernal. Does he speak common? It's, it's not. He, it's not a tiefling. Oh. Uh it just this token looks like a tiefling. You can imagine maybe he had a little, little knight hat that had little tiefling horns that are a little floppy and you know. No. The Renaissance fair, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, he's in his sleeping clothes and he's got a, a big book that looks like the other books you found, in his oh. in, his, in his hands. Uh, but that's oh. all he has is, is what he's wearing and, and that book. What was the guy's name in the? I have the piece of paper. Um, oh, so Calib 
Calabash is Calabash. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say Calabash. Are you Calabash? And then he kind of does that. That's his reaction. He kind of looks puzzled and looks right at you. Okay. With recognition okay. Of, 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 of the name. I think we're like invaders. <laughs> I'm, oh, kind of home. Um, I'm gonna ask him to, uh, oh God, I don't know. Um, can, I, can I do like an attack, but make it non-lethal? Yeah, you can do a non-lethal attack, yes. Can you do any attack non-lethal, or do you just do like a melee regular attack? Uh, it has to be a melee attack. Okay, so... I mean, you've got your quarter staff, right? Yeah, I do. So I'll do quarter staff. Practicing all the knowledge. 17. Bonk. Yeah, that hits. It's probably not enough to knock him out, though. Yeah, he, he kind of wobbles a bit, but he's still standing. Okay, that'll be my turn, so I'll do what you got to do. <laughs> I'm curious if this person is related to the wizard that we've been hearing about. He's the one that owns this room, and it said, Calabash, don't drink all your money away. Mm -hmm. and and well, but, but is he, or was Calabash the apprentice? And this is some tool that he summons. Yeah, he could uh, be Haster. So, but he has one of the books. And and you know. notice he's got a book in his hand, and then kind of under his armpit is a is a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. He's he just that. didn't see the bottle yet until Mellis comes up behind him and sees the bottom end of the bottle under his arm. But Mellis, what do you want to do? Okay, so I'm going to step up, <clears throat> and so so it's not a tiefling, but it's kind of a demonic looking yeah. creature. It's human. Oh, it's human. It, it, the, the token looks like you can just imagine he's in some funky <laughs> clothes that make him look like a tiefling. You know, floppy <laughs> floppy horns on whatever night sleeping hat he's got on. She like he's in cosplay. I was saying cosplay. He was okay. reading a story, decided to dress up while he's <laughs> drinking whatever he's drinking. Right. He's been drinking. You can drinking smell whatever it. he's drinking. You can <laughs> smell it if you're close to him. You can yep. Uh, so I'm going to walk up and I'm going to say, Oi, mate, how about sharing <laughs> some of that liquor? And tell it. us who you are and why you were summoned. Tell us your story before we kill you. <laughs> like, ah. We might not bottle. kill you. <laughs> Speak. Oh, we already beat the hell out of him. I mean, <laughs> oh, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, um, can I give uh, intimidation? I could cast command on him. Yeah, I could. Oh, that. that's a good spell. Oh wait, I also hang on. I have something. <laughs> I had a twenty-four for intimidation. I have That's charm nice. person. I want that bottle. I want his book. And I want his story. Right now. And his life. I have charmed person and comprehend languages. So, so Malice, you're, you're just talking to him? And he doesn't understand? Or no, what? he's like, ah. yeah. You know, he's just not you know, kind of like, get out of my face. Yeah, I'm, I've you. got my. I've got my battle axe over my shoulder, but I'm saying, yeah. give me that bottle, tell us your story, or we're going to kill you. Uh, so, yeah, roll your intimidation. Do it. Uh, 24. Do it. <laughs> roll it again. Make it disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, intimidation. <laughs> Still a 16. Yeah, he got 18. He's not, he not caring about you. <laughs> All right, Alan R. Alrighty. Excuse me. I'm going to use.
No, this is not a humanoid, so I can't use that. Okay. okay. I'm going to, I'm going to use the long sword. Okay. <gasps> Use the black. Don't use the edge. Use the Goodbye, black. Calabash. Um, I might as well have used the, the black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so with a with a nine, uh, you knock the bottle out of his arm, and he's like, "What?" And you can you can hear a hollow clunk, and it hits the ground. It's it's empty. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Now we're down to book. I am going to take one of my mighty smiters and smite him in the face with my hand, with my fist. And then if that doesn't render him unconscious, I will smite him again with the left fist. <laughs> <laughs> the right one don't you get will be smited. the left one will. Make a strength roll. <laughs> Unarmed strike, right? Yeah. I think it only does one point of damage. But, oh, okay. With yeah. the smiter. Uh, that missed. Ah. And that really missed. Yep. <laughs> really. Yeah. Well, who is drunk here? Him or me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, Whip. Let's get tanked. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your breath is so bad, I'm drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> Se Secondhand drinking. Was there yeah. anything right. in those papers that we might can use to make him stop fighting us? Like, I don't know, a secret of his? or Put him in a sleeper. What, what, <laughs> what do you roll for the sleeper oh. move? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sleeper hold. Yeah. Uh, you can try grappling. Yeah. yeah. Quick question: uh, Is this is this thing a uh, humanoid? Yeah, yeah, he's he's human. Oh, so I could have used the um, charmed person. Yeah, I could have. Whoops. Could have. I've, said, I've said it like three or four times. He's just a person with a funky hat on. Yeah. All right. I've got it. However, <laughs> uh, he is a spellcaster. <laughs> That's the last time I don't try to kill somebody. Is there a jet <laughs> engine revving up? What's that? Is there a jet engine revving up somewhere? Oh, I'm sorry. My husband's making ice cream. Oh. <laughs> hey, if he wow, can't make I... it up for the whole class. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have some. <laughs> can, you, can you take pictures of the ice cream and show us? Yeah, I can do that. Whoa. That's just torture. Is it vanilla or chocolate a, or what? Here's a good uh, I think he made a pistachio one tonight. Mm -hmm. Now That's here's impossible. a here's a good milkshake. Friday's blackberry ice cream. Make oh. that, that sounds Where sweet. at? <laughs> TGI Fridays. Yeah. Um, we don't Sunday. have those. Drunken well, Monday. you can they you can get it at a supermarket that sells it. You can get it in the little the gallon gallon container or quart. Hmm. I'll see if they do it if it comes in around here. Because so, uh, over here we get it at the shop right. Shop right carries it. So on his turn, he just Malice was saying something and he just points two fingers at him, a fireball, a fire bolt goes off. But it goes over your, your shoulder, Valis. <laughs> but you could tell he was trying to figure out what to cast. He could have cast anything, but Firebolt was what he chose, luckily. Um, he is a mage. Well, well, well. Coro uh, says Calabash must be a drunken master. <laughs> uh, oops, Sinedra. Okay. Not for this guy. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. 
Oh. I got tired of him. Yeah. <laughs> Those are a lot of numbers. Yeah, he he crumples. Oh. Remember, Nico Nico did a lot of damage in the beginning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's. He would try to throw firebolts around. That's the end of that. <laughs> okay, so we're we're out of initiative. There's this dead mage who's got a kind of weird shade of green to him. He's <laughs> got something that kind of smells of sulfur leaking out of his orifices. He's poisoned. Can I go back to bed now? Now, I would like to grab the book and and look it over to see what's in it. Uh, yeah, make an Arcana check. Oh my god! I it's got writing in it. <laughs> uh, can I can I take a look, maybe? Yep. Yeah, knock yourself out. Yeah, this is Maybe. his well, wizard. Both, spell both of you spellcasters should get together and work through it together, probably. <laughs> but, but you can tell the very first one that you look at, you know right away what it is. It's Firebolt. Uh, but it's got pages and pages of spells. This is this is his spell book. Well, I'm going to um, you may get the impression that he kind of had delusions of grandeur and thought he would need 20 of these. But he's only got right. one. It's got spells in it. Um, I'll this, hang this, on to it. Yeah, this is okay. one of um, this is one of Halister's apprentices. You've met several in this dungeon. Mm -hmm. You have I think it's safe to say covered almost all of the dungeon. Ooh. Or the dungeon level, sorry. I was going to say dungeon mm -hmm. or just this level. No, there's like 20 <laughs> and you're on level <laughs> two. Um, but yeah, if you want to finish your rest here, or actually you finished your rest, um, we'll pick up next time. You just have a little bit more based on your map. Uh, there are four rooms that you haven't hit yet. Nice. So next time we should be able to finish this level. Nice. And then we need to find the way down to the next one. Oh, yeah, you found it. Oh, we did. <laughs> yeah. You found it fairly quickly because you bypassed so much of the dungeon and had to work your way back to the beginning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right. But you found a lot of uh, different apprentices. Yep. Um, you know, and if, if you're trying to think of who you've encountered, you've destroyed the fine fellows of Daggerford. <laughs> they are no more. And uh, you took out a couple um, crime gangs. On this floor, Xanathar and Zentar on both. And next we time kept we'll, the goblins alive. Yeah, you kept the goblins alive. They're they have a little farmers market going. Hey, that's a win. <laughs> that's where we can get rid of the goat. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have we should have walked all the goats up. <laughs> but, okay, that that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks everyone cool. for joining. Thanks for the replay crew. You, Chris. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Chris. Have a good night. Good night, everyone.